crazy. <laughs> and we are live. Good morning, Crypto Warriors, and welcome back to the Gym in the Crypto episode 705. We got it right today. Today is Thursday, April. Crazy. Today is Tuesday, April 20th, 2021. And I'm King. And I'm Bitcoin Zay. And we're here to bridge the gap between cryptocurrency and the community Monday through Friday at 10 ish. As soon as I get it right, I get it wrong that quick. Womp womp. <laughs> Today's top stories, PayPal-owned Venmo launches cryptocurrency trading. Firm, former currency comptroller to become CEO of Binance US Crypto Exchange. That is right. You heard that right. We work to accept crypto payments and hold them on his balance sheet. Dogecoin jumps 20% as crypto fans declare Doge Day. And electronics retailer Newegg now accepts Dogecoin as payment. First and foremost, Bitcoin's day was going on these prices today. Oh, yeah. So taking a look at our prices, Bitcoin's at $56,339, down 0.5%. Ethereum at $2,219 is down 0.4%. Binance coin with a bit of a bounce back to $534 is up 3%. Ripple at 136 is down 2.6%. Dogecoin coming in at number 537 cent is down 5.6% today. Cardano at 123, down 1.86%. Polka died at thirty four ninety seven down four percent today. Bcash somehow holding on right around a thousand and nine hundred fifty six dollars up one percent. And last but not least, Litecoin at two hundred sixty two dollars is down two point seven percent. So we're seeing a lot of these uh, altcoins correct for a bit uh, before what may be a bigger all season. But we have seen some drawdowns in, in Bitcoin that are concerning, where we might get some lower prices. Uh, so looking forward to that if it happens. But don't go all in on shorts because the same way those loans got liquidated. The same way shorts can. You blast right through that and go straight to 70K. So don't over leverage yourself. Don't leverage at all if you don't know what you're doing. And uh, make sure you hold on to what you got and take profits on, on some of these small coins. Some people got this exuberance, but take your profits. Uh, yeah, good point that you just said about that too. I've been seeing the market, the steam is kind of wearing off as well. Uh, I mean, we have articles today from, uh, we have crypto articles from CNN today. So uh, it is mainstream, mainstream. It is literally, I see crypto news on my phone uh, from headlines from the top news institutions out there in organizations. So uh, we're definitely getting at, at that inflection point. Uh, but maybe it just needs that two week cool off period before this summertime pump. Uh, what is going on? Slamp Alamo, Addie A, Hancho L. Bay, Carlton Brown, Fantizi, Chappie, Antoinette, Kevin, Blues Lover, Philip. Raekwon G, Torrance, uh, J Playlist, Lisa Lee, Notes from Jew, J Titan, Slamp Alamo, Alfonso Clark, Patrick Walter, Jiu Jitsu, Crypto E, J Titan. Uh, who else? Can you dig it? You already know. Hello, hello, everybody. Ricky, Hood Mistress Reloaded, like that name. Quarter, quarter Crawler, what's going on? Cavs Credit, J Titan, Wesley SK. Uh, yeah, happy 420, everyone. What's going on? Hey. And also, it's not just it's not just 420. Hey, we hit 10,000 subscribers. 10,000 subscribers 10, a day. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Yes, sir. Get that 10K. We went from 9,500 to 10K overnight. That's what I'm talking about. You know what? I'm glad you pointed out. I forgot to celebrate. Let's start the show. Oh, look. Oh, you didn't tell me. Look, he didn't give me no types of heads up today. This guy. 10K, baby. <laughs> How did that go from the end of the show to the beginning of the show that quick Bitcoin? Oh, like, I, the 10K part came. I, my bad. Listen, we forgot to talk about that too. We did. So listen, you all about to catch us, talk about this live. Uh, we didn't even acknowledge it to each other that we hit 10K. I just I realized it. I just saw it. Look I, at that thing. I, I had it in my notes. I forgot to mention it. You know what? Shout out actually uh, to Alec G and definitely Antonio. Antonio has is our social media moderator. Uh, literally in the last week, week and a half, just through organic posts. Really, it was a Dogecoin post. So, uh, <laughs> shout out to Antonio. But Antonio did a Dogecoin post for us on IG, and literally within the first hour, two hours, they had like 4,000 people. Oh, and we getting lit lit today, bro. You are tripping right now. <laughs> 10,000, baby. My guy. 10,000, baby. Oh, listen, low key, I'm more mad than you. We the did. best. I don't care, man. We the best, no, man. I'm more I'm, mad that you just had the name on that cam, and we getting bigger, man. We can't look. We can't I do no free advertising. I Hold I'm your hand up. over the name. <laughs> All right, that's what I'm talking about. I don't even care about what you're drinking. You know me. I'm talking about the hand being over Yeah, I, the thought, I thought I covered it up. Yeah, yeah. Cover that. Ain't no free advertising around Ain't these no free parts. free advertising on here. Not no more. Not a 10 K. Hey, hey, but hey, oh. seriously, shout out to Antonio. Uh, I would say Antonio from the UK, but these days, he's on these islands these days. But shout out to Antonio for uh, that hard work. 
on the social media side, of course, as a recent. And a uh, shout out from Alec to Alec G as well. Uh, if you saw the podcast for updated people, Alec G is on top of everything uh, as far as keeping us uh, up to date and everywhere. So again, uh, shout out to all the crypto warriors out there too uh, for, for some, the support to get us to this 10K mark. We just getting started, people. Uh, there we go. Crypto culture. Thank you for the tip. 10K, baby. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody make sure you hit that like. Send us $10 for 10K. That's what I'm Hilarious. talking about. Hilarious. Fonzo Clark says smoke is legal in New York now. Come through, Zay, and we'll throw one in the air. There hey, it is. It's legal everywhere, man. It's, it's not really taboo anymore, baby. Let's go. Listen, listen. Uh, I mean, hey, hey, hey. Hold on now. No. <laughs> hey, listen. It's a plant, people. Speaking of being things being uh, legal and illegal, we'll be talking about that shortly in the show. So make sure you hang around. Because I know some of you like to point to the government and say, they say what's legal and illegal. Not us, us regular uh, measly humans. Uh, so we'll definitely talk about them soon. Uh, but the first story of the day, uh, as we get these likes up, because right now we're at 125 viewers with 65 likes. Uh, we're about to slip below that 50% line. So let's make sure we get those likes up. Uh, but let's start it off today. Top story of the day, PayPal. Uh, own Venmo launches cryptocurrency trading. I mean, who didn't see this coming, people? Oh, wow. <laughs> like, Venmo is a direct competitor with Cash App. Like, this was coming since it's been coming. That is right. Venmo is following in the footsteps of his rival, Square's Cash App, by introducing cryptocurrency trading. I swear to you all, I have not read below the headline until just now <laughs> live. I, I swear to you. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw the headline the article. I was like, people, this is literally how we do articles. I was like, oh, I, don't even need to, I already know what the deal is. Like, this has been mm -hmm. in the works for a minute on the low. So uh, it's crazy. But as you can see here, payments at App Square made headlines and dollars when it integrated uh, Bitcoin trading to its mobile platform back during the uh, crypto bull market of 2017. Now, rival payments firm Venmo, owned by PayPal, is following suit by launching cryptocurrency trading for four major coins Bitcoin, Ether, Litecoin, and Bcash. I mean, uh, it seems to me that you could start not listing Bcash and putting Dogecoin out. I mean, almost like <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, but what's going on with Venmo as they begin to unroll this platform? Oh, yeah. So, uh, again, no surprise, people. We saw this coming. After PayPal implemented it, had their test run, rolled it out completely, they own Venmo. So, of course, this was coming. And I think it's important to notice that they say Venmo users will be able to buy as little as $1 worth of cryptocurrency, uh, which, of course, that's a direct... Uh, competition to Cash App, and they can also use funds from the Venmo balance or from a linked bank account. Uh, Venmo is, you know, pretty good for people who want to send money back and forth. Um, it's, you know, another app, another way for you to get exposure to a Bitcoin IOU, uh, but it is not Bitcoin, people. Please, uh, you know, the hype is good. People are going to get into it. They got 70 million customers, but it is not Bitcoin. Just like people are getting on Robinhood and, uh, and some of the other Revolut and all these other apps, and then they're like, yeah, I own Bitcoin. I don't, and you're like, no, you don't. Make sure your friends know that Venmo is actually just a Bitcoin IOU. Uh, this is good uh, for promotion, though. And I think this is sort of the rollout we're talking about where you don't have a choice. If you're a company and you don't offer a Bitcoin service, you're going to be left in the dark. So not surprised Venmo's taking this route here. And uh, shout out to uh, everybody who's learning about crypto because you all get every app is introducing Bitcoin. So you can't miss it now. So no more excuses, but I love it. Shout out to Venmo. In the dark, in the dark, in the dark, in the dark. <laughs> Shout out to YG. <laughs> hey, but uh, <laughs> seriously, you don't make myself lose my train of thought. Um, like you said, there there is no getting around it now. And that's the cool thing about getting into crypto, actually, in 2020, 2021. There is so much, there are so many YouTubes, there are so many uh, books, literature, apps. Like, there's so much information, people. There is no excuse, like Bitcoin's they said. Uh, that is the cool part to see because... Again, like I know when you first got started, when I first got started, like people, that's one of the reasons why we started YouTube. We was like, yo, it's only two other YouTubes, three other YouTubes at the time, I think really two or three. And it was like, uh, only one of them are really good and the other couple aren't that great or whatever, or ones, whatever. Uh, one was talking about BitConnect. So it was just like, yo, yeah. YouTube <laughs> we had, game is ours. We, here. <laughs> yeah, we had to battle the BitConnect guys early. Uh, yeah. It was easy getting past the boring Tech guys. They yeah, the boring tech boring. guys is easy. It was yeah, they were easy. Tech they guys were boring. Ten minutes of each you could choose, but the big connect guys was in uh, rented condos in Miami. They had rented Lambos. They had fake titty Russians walking around. Hey, with them. It was they hard to beat that. that. 
And then uh, we kept telling people it was a scam. And then, of course, jumped over that hurdle. But, yeah, that that's crazy, man, because yeah, you're right. It was only like two or three, and now it's whatever. Right. So definitely a great time to be in crypto. Oh, shout out to Tessa Hall for the tip. Keep up the good work. Congrats on 10K. Tessa, you have been here since I'm pretty sure the beginning of the beginning. So thank you for the continued support. Andre Baus, thank you for the tip as well. Flying to the moon, it looks like. Truly appreciate that. Uh, good morning, everyone else as they continue to join. What's going on, Miriam Oslin? First time I've seen you here. Wesley SK, thank you for the tip. Much appreciated. Uh, Ryan Cooper, I definitely want to highlight this topic. Coop DeVille, uh, make sure you check him out. Google is your friend when it comes to crypto people. If you're not Googling all day when you're on crypto or duck, duck, go for some of you, I know how some of you are, are but if you're not searching for stuff all day, you are in the wrong space. I, I really, I, I know we don't highlight it enough, uh, but people, I'm telling you, we read so much every day. It is like, we read so much. You can't get away from it in this space. Uh, so yeah, just as it heads up. All right, the real top story of the day, uh, as we get all this happiness out, because it's about to go down, it's the rant of the day. Uh, we are firing back at the gang. And yes, I know I am an employee technically of them and I support them always, but the gang is still the gang. Former currency comptroller to become CEO of Binance US Crypto Exchange. Let's, let's read this headline one more time, people. What the? <laughs> Former <laughs> currency comptroller to become the CEO of Binance US Crypto Exchange. What the French toast? Former top US banking regulator. Former top US banking regulator. Former top US banking regulator Brian Brooks, who we covered many times in this show as being a destructive force of innovation in crypto, is joining the United States affiliate of the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange as its new CEO. This is what we've been talking about with the revolving door. This is why I keep saying no regulations, period. Not regulations from good regulators, yeah. not good <laughs> regulations from good government, no regulations, period, because it's corrupt. It is dirty. Like this former top U.S. banking regulator, Brian Brooks, is joining U.S. affiliate of the world's largest crypto exchange as his new CEO. Like <laughs> Brian Brooks jumps from team to team more than Kevin Durant. And <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> That's right. We'll never get that KD sponsorship now. Thank you. <laughs> I don't understand how people don't see this. I mean, just, just let's just go through the story real quick, right? He's, of course, former acting comptroller of the currency of the United States Office of the Comptroller of the Currency. That's a terrible name, by the way. Um, right. And he's set to become CEO. But he's also formerly head of Coinbase's legal team. What do you think about that, King? What, <laughs> what do you think about that, Hop Around? How do you get, but my thing is, how do you get to be a regulator and you get to create a law out of thin air that no one gets the vote for? No one gets to get their opinion on. Like you and your cronies literally just create laws out thin air. So essentially the regulators can get paid. The government can get paid and can show you their reach. Uh, and then you go work for a private company's legal team that is directly affected by everything you just said that is going to be law now. Like, yeah. <laughs> Listen, what I love most about seeing these stories is no offense to the boomers, but this is your fault. Like you, it's not my generation that believe in law and government. They out here tearing shit up on the weekly. Let me tell you, it is like literally your generation who told your kids, who told everybody to listen to these people and their laws and to do right and blah, 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 blah. like a drone sounding on. Mm -hmm. They are corrupt. It is no other way to say it. Like, but to be serious mm -hmm. and straight out, they are corrupt and we should not be listening to regulators when it comes to crypto right now, or okay. probably ever. This is the reason why cryptocurrency was made, to circumvent the state and banks, not to go directly back to them and use centralized exchanges or say Wyoming agreed to this bill or Delaware agreed to this bill. And all of a sudden we can pay crypto taxes. And all of a sudden this is legal. And all of a sudden I can do an ICO, but we're gonna call it a, a STO because we have to pay SEC, like no. None of that is cryptocurrency as a whole. That is it being that is it being hijacked. That is PayPal offering PayPal and Venmo for you to buy crypto, but they own it all. That is what this mm -hmm. is. So, I mean, 
you know honestly, I mean? it's, it's disgusting to see as a citizen of the United States knowing your tax money goes to these people. It's like seriously disgusting to see. Oh yeah, and I know people have mentioned Bitcoin being the Trojan horse that goes that that's you know entering into the Federal Reserve and we're gonna pop out with all this new money. But we know what I was thinking. Maybe they may be Trojan horse and us. They may be sneaking their regulatory people into our exchanges, into our uh, different businesses. Seriously. So that they feel, so people feel like, oh yeah, now it's the real thing. When in reality, they know who they really work for. They may be Trojan horse in us right now. They're coming in, acting like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make regulatory clarity. I hate when they use that phrase because it's like, what do you need to clarify about regulations that don't, shouldn't exist? <laughs> what do you, I mean, what are you clarifying for us? Uh, that you're in control still? Thanks, Brian. So one thing I think is, I think we may be seeing some of these people, but moving over to our for one, they don't have a choice because this industry's taking off. But for two, they may be Trojan horse than us, man. I think they're coming over, bringing this regulatory stuff, trying to make it regular to think that way, to think, yes, we need somebody to tell us how this works. I like the wild, wild west. I mean, there's some stuff we can clean up, but we self-regulate all the time. And it's, it, with open source technology, we have the ability to do that. We're adults, for goodness sakes. And I think at this point, this is just the first, in my opinion, if I'm if I'm right, this is the first of many big regulators moving to the crypto industry, maybe Trojan horse and us. So I'm just saying, Binance might want to look out. But again, uh, people say it's bullish for the space because when they clarify it, more money will come in. Bro, we got the 60,000 without all this ETF regulatory clear. We don't need all that. So uh, again, uh, shout out to uh, Binance for getting a hire that gets them in with the in crowd. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, Trojan definitely shout out to Binance. Like, if I was Binance, yeah. for sure. I'm hiring Comptroller, SEC Chair, CFTC. I hired the president. I, could. I was just, oh, I was about to say, <laughs> Donald Trump, hey, you was the last president, whatever. Whoever the last president was, come on board. Like, mm -hmm. so from a business standpoint, I am with it. But from a tax paying standpoint, from a citizen standpoint, from a person who is in crypto trying to uh, start a business, a small business, like, I just can't get with it. And what's crazy, um, it says here that Binance CEO and founder, Champagne Zhao said that Brooks expertise and knowledge will be invaluable as Binance US continues to expand. Quote, Brian is an esteemed leader with an unparalleled blend of experience across traditional financial services, government, and the digital assets industry. Binance's, uh, Binance US ability to attract an executive of Brian's caliber is a testament to the strength of his platform. This is literally like <laughs> it's like a new set putting you on. This is like, that's why I love saying gang gang about this stuff. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, this is, hey, we got us a new one right here. We got us a top hitter. Hey, fight first, back, fight first, back. Yeah. <laughs> you Get know up in, Brian Brooks. <laughs> yeah, they, they over here patting him on his ass for everybody showing him off. Yeah, this is a new boy right here. He's going to take care of the U.S. business for us. Like, um, and, and also, I, I, again, I get it from Binance to point out his digital assets history, but people, these regulators who all of a sudden are getting these digital assets stamps and stuff, like, oh, they're, they're experts in the community. Or they, no, they literally become experts overnight by just being a regulator saying yes or no. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, I guess they determine what happens in the industry. So uh, again, this is crazy to see. Not a fan of this. this is, we're talking about Brian Brooks, uh, who used to be the uh, former, former currency comptroller. And again, for those who are wondering, hey, what's wrong with this? is that these are regulators who are getting taxpayer funds and they're making decisions without asking anyone. They're stifling innovation in order to help uh, either larger companies and organizations or traditional companies and organizations or companies and organizations that come to the table with a lot of money to excel in the crypto space while at the same time, uh, literally getting rid of any competition to them. Like at all, you think Coinbase yeah. was allowed to grow the way it grew and then uh, having a direct listing IPO without the government getting rid of competition. No, that's why all these exchanges in the U.S. started coming under attack the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. There can only be one exchange. We don't want a bunch of them. Yeah. Uh, so those are some things to think about real quick. Want to give some shout outs to uh, Blockchain Driven. Thank you for the tip. You all, I am so slow today. Listen, everybody giving $4.20 tips in my <laughs> head. I'm just like, why are they giving this? <laughs> What's this the 20 cent for? Uh, thank you for those tips. Wendy Nichols, thank you for the tip. Mike J, thank you, thank you, thank you as well. And Bernard B, thank you both for those tips. We appreciate it. Uh, and again, we're talking about Brian Brooks, uh, currency controller, what used to be the currency controller of the US, who is now uh, Binance CEO. Like, Binance CEO. He didn't, he didn't get a, the VP of this. He didn't get the uh, operations job. Like he didn't get the, the Great to see he, you. <laughs> or, like any other C. So he got the CEO. 
Bro, you know how crazy it is to create the rules and then go play the game? Bro, that is some next level game, stuff. Game bro. to the fullest. Like, you can't make this up. Like, you are, like, if I were to try to do this, I would be in prison. Like, you're not, for That's Monopoly, cool. like, you can't do this in any other, like, industry or any other position but these hey, positions. So. They play, they play a dirty game just like our Big Daddy. It's called I Win. Hey, America. <laughs> it's called I Win. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. This I'm this mad. is the most American story I've read in a while, so I'm not <laughs> mad. You want to uh, read another American story real quick? Marcellus Love, thank you for the tip, said definitely gang, gang. Uh, Ron O, thank you for that tip as well. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, I was going to say, you want to hear another American story? How about a company that everyone knows doesn't make money, that's in <laughs> debt, and still can make the front page of news stories? That is right. We're talking about WeWork. If you haven't seen that Hulu special, I just started watching it. It is amazing. Uh, you talking about bit cojones and blind confidence. Like, oh my goodness. Mm. <laughs> we work Man. to accept crypto payments and hold them on his balance sheet. What's going on with WeWork? Well, 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 we work. I thought you guys were dead. Hey, but hell Mary, you. hell Mary. Listen, hell, well, hey, a little bit of money by Bitcoin, you. baby. People are starting to throw Hail Marys into crypto as a last ditch effort. We saw Kodak do that a couple years ago. That's if you true, want the way man. out, just throw a Hail Mary, throw blockchain in your name, throw crypto on your balance sheet because co-working space giant WeWork is the latest company to announce plans to hold cryptocurrencies on its balance sheet. The SoftBank-owned commercial real estate firm, uh, you mean a bunch of desks, uh, WeWork's <laughs> uh, balance sheet will come from the company adopting crypto, uh, yeah, exactly, as a payment method. Uh, a lot of fancy coffee and desk. It is not a real commercial real estate firm, but whatever. Uh, they will accept Bitcoin, Ethereum, stable coins, and Paxos, uh, like USD. So uh, yeah, they got USDC, Paxos, Ethereum, Bitcoin. And of course, their crypto adoption drive also includes paying landlords and other partners with cryptocurrencies, as well as a partnership with uh, the United States-based Coinbase. So they're partnering with Coinbase. They're trying to pay landlords who own space in the WeWork, and they're trying to keep it on their balance sheet, which I believe every company will try to do. But to me, because WeWork is drowning and whatever problems they have, what was it, $45 billion? Value? I see the big play. I'm, I'm waiting for I, you to finish. I see the big play. Hey, I, I, I see wanna, the big I want to steal it from you. Hey, all I got to say is whenever they raise money and then they you use You already know. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got to say. Let me say is that, hey. Let me get it out. Let me get it out. Hey, People, man, you got it. Here's, and this, what's crazy is that we are going over this story. Like, before the show, people, all we do is say headlines to see if we have the same headlines or different headlines, and we decide which headlines we have time to discuss. But for us to be on the same page as people, expect a WeWork token to come out soon. No, like, you straight up. Like, yeah. there's going to be a WeWork. Because this is the best way to pay back that $45 billion of debt. Is yeah. to start a we, WeWork crypto program, crypto token, whatever. Either STO it or airdrop that some bitch and mm -hmm. let's get some money flowing. Hey, <laughs> saw Tesla made more money from Bitcoin in six months than their company ever. So we work is like, hey, we put Bitcoin on our balance sheet. We may be able to get a hundred million dollar convertible notes, and we can go ahead and turn that into Bitcoin. Because I guarantee you, their only investment right now that matters is probably Bitcoin right now. So, yeah. oh man, the fact that we can both see—I hope everybody watching can see—it's starting to see between the lines of what's happening. It's—it's it's like you don't have a choice as a business. You might as well go ahead and get started now. And if you're drowning, just throw Bitcoin on the balance sheet. That's your—that's your plan B. That's your life raft off of the Titanic. And with all that being said, boom, here is a jewel for those in the traditional market. I don't know how WeWork works as far as if there's direct listings on it, if it's public. I don't know. Are they a public company? I don't know anything about it. I highly doubt they're public for them to go this long being in the negative. But regardless of where WeWork are, if you're on that side of the house when it comes to investing people, there you go. There is the golden gem right there. Like literally uh, in another six months of WeWork, say we're going to convert all our real estate and blah, 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 and do this with crypto remember where you heard it first. Like it literally does make sense for them. If I was in charge of WeWork, this would be my next play because this is the, I mean, what, like you said, 45 billion? Something like that. I listen, think it's some crazy only, valuation. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. Listen, right now, there's only two ways you're going to get 45 billion back. That's through slavery or crypto, all right? And I think crypto is the best bet to go for <laughs> move forward on this yeah. one. We so, ain't going back to change. So yeah, we ain't going back no change. So I think uh I think they'll be going the crypto route with it. But let's uh we'll, we'll make sure we check it out. Oh yeah. All right, uh this is too funny. Man, what's what's wrong with us? <laughs> <laughs>
uh kevin cummings thank you for the tip appreciate it ryan cooper happy 420 fellas bakey wakey dcs crypto hilarious thank you thank oh, you for that tip rhino thank you again uh let's see oh man i i, I i'm mad i haven't been to the comments before we get to these last couple of stories we have to go to the comments because people i'm just seeing laughing faces and hey. faces everywhere 10k day let's go through it Gotta 10k get day Jay Titan says CZ is corrupt. I won't say CZ is corrupt because again, in business, this was like even in the military uh, when CEOs used to come poach some of the military people. They like, hey, like, like you all aren't supposed to leave. Like, we are allowed to do this as individual business owners. We can come poach whoever we want. You have to remember some of these business owners, uh, some people in business, there's no ethics classes. They like, yo, hey, I got money. I want people to work for me. I don't got time for nothing else in between. <laughs> um, Let's see, Hood Mistress Reloaded said Binance is still dragging with my verification progress. It's been two months. So that's the thing, people. If you try to get verified on anything uh, during the bull cycle, it's going to take time, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you have to uh, do it on the low. Ken Mitchell, very great um, question. Bring it to Talk Shop Live. We will be back this Sunday. Uh, Alec, will, Alec G will be our in-house moderator at Talk Shop Live. So on the technical side, everything will be taken care of. Bring that question there. I'm not going to say that here publicly on the channel, uh, but it's a great question. And uh, I mean, I actually know a lot about it, but like I said, that's that's not free game I'm giving on this channel because the returns are too high. That's simple. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Ryan Cooper, what's going on? PFC Wells, bro, I woke up to this morning too. Oh, about the offices, of, uh, the com currency comptroller, I hate that name too. Just like I've been saying, folks from the financial departments, are going to make exit to private companies after setting up law. That's crazy. Mm. Oh, and mm. then what you said, Bitcoin's they go back to it. My thing with the, the, the regulators and stuff, um, like, or the people who are for this, it's all these, all the people who are trying to mitigate the risks. All these other professionals coming from everywhere who keep screaming regulation. And they, and, but these are also the same people who don't think there's nothing wrong with what Brooks is doing. They're like, hell, I do it too. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it's all the same game, uh, same game, the same play. It's literally the same game plan. They, they need to tell, uh, they need to bring back that uh, TV show. We need some new episodes, American Greed. I used to watch that show all the time. Mm -hmm. But these fellas and, and ladies both need to be on the channel. Like Trek said, that dude been working deals from the start. You can't tell me Hester ain't going to do the same. This is my thing, people. When it comes to Brooks, who's the other guy recently? Uh, the bit license guy uh, with the rat face, I called him. But all <laughs> these people, my biggest beef too, where, where the corruption piece comes in at, and this is the part that sucks. If I ever go on a mainstream news channel, they're gonna be like, all right, well, exactly what evidence do you have of corruption? Like who, like exactly at what time and date of evidence do you have? And since I don't have it, they'll be like, well, so then, you and then you're just guessing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, my, but my guesses in the market uh, make money. So it's not just guessing, they seem to be right. And, and I bring that point up because there is not enough time in these people's positions. You're dealing with an entire new financial system of cryptocurrency, right? We all we just said you have to read all the time. There isn't enough time to become educated on the system and make law and all of a sudden fill out a job application. It's just not enough time to do all three. Hey, like, hey it is time when you talk uh, business on the golf course. Hey, when you say <laughs> that's true. Hey, that's, true. that's how the real deals get done, people. We all adults here, so don't think this was some formal process where they put it out on indeed.com and that's my point exactly just had a conversation was like yeah you handle this for us we'll get you in here because binance has plenty of money way more than being a regulator i can tell you that there we go william justice uh said not this boomer yo i right, all jokes all jokes i had to throw some jokes at the boomer so we can get some thumbs down and get this algorithm popping too either way <laughs> <laughs> you know we just messing with you we love everybody uh james justin said happy holy day family burn some of those prophets today on job you know crypto q said same thing the bankers do. They work at the Fed, then the banks, then for the ratings agencies. That is right. They will go straight. To, you know what? Hell, while we at it, Zay, let's start it. Like yeah. the ratings agencies are coming next for crypto. Let's just start it and hire us. Like literally, let's get yeah. in tight with the SEC. Let's hire somebody from the SEC next year. Sixty thousand uh, dollars. Let's let's get let's let's get a community fund going, a slush fund mm -hmm. for the Warriors and everybody. It will be our own SEC veteran on the on the gentleman of crypto desk. Uh, <laughs> have here all the time and let's, just, let's get it going here uh have our own rating agency oh that's a bad crypto company that's a good one and mm -hmm. we have our and you can pay us <laughs> say yeah no whatever mm -hmm. yeah of course of course dogecoin's the future yeah <laughs> right there we go <laughs> 
There we go. Oh, uh, yes, Wendy Nichols. That's true. Wendy Nichols said, educated boomer in the house. I've always been aware of the gang gang. This is true, too. Listen, it's really just these regulators. All right. I, I did say that wrong. It's really just some of these regulators. We got to get them up out of here. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, man. Black Film Guild. Tell us why you think that. I don't want to say that out loud without uh, a reason, but they're calling out a crypto influencer saying they're a scammer. You have to say why this person has been in this space for a long time. So you got to let us know why. Oh, yeah. That one. All right. Uh, last couple of quick stories. We are going to be talking Dogecoin. You know it. People, Dogecoin made to CNN. Oh, oh man. man. Never thought I'd see today. It is literally either at the top, top, or it is literally just getting started. We shall see which, but... Again, this is CNN Business reporting Dogecoin jumps 20% as fans declare Crypto Doge Day. What's going on and what is Doge Day? Oh, yeah. So uh, right now, Dogecoin has surpassed $53 billion in market cap. And of course, April 20th, 420 is known as Doge Day on social media uh, with the aim of pushing the digital currency value to new heights. Uh, it jumped as much as 20% up to 42, uh, up to 42 cents nearing Friday's all-time high, high of 45 cents. So we have the Shiba Indu dog. We have the hashtag Doge Day, Doge 420. Of course, there's a big link between Doge Day and 420. Uh, a lot of weed smokers get into it. So uh, Doge Day for a lot of people is just a celebration. Again, this is a joke coin. It's a community of people who they're just pumping a coin, people. It's literally not real right now. Life is unreal right now. The fact hey. that it's 45 cents. So in honor of Doge Day, Everybody take a hit. Appreciate you, Doge, for coming out, <laughs> for showing people that this market is a joke. Because the, well, fact that that's what five, the fact that it's number five, this market is so irrational. Stop taking it as serious as you think. Everybody thinks that, hey, I'm the crypto uh, evangelist. Not really. You didn't you didn't predict Doge going to 45 cents. So shout out Doge Day. <laughs> hey, while you're doing that, what I was going to say was uh, actually pretty funny today is that Doge Day in 420 is the same. And it's people and people, a.k.a. businesses, organizations, institutions who've been backing it are probably waking up like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Like, oh, yeah. Welcome oh, yeah. to the gang gang. You smoke weed, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, hey, the richest man in the world can smoke weed on Joe Rogan. Everybody else, they, get out of here, man. Well, no, but when yeah, it yeah. comes to people like uh, Mark Cuban, for example, I don't know yeah. how he feels about marijuana, but literally he's been pumping doge. You've been talking about, we're going to accept that the Mavericks. And we're talking about Dallas too. Ooh, Texas. Well, that's that's near the Bible Belt, ain't it? I don't think they do weed like that down there, Mark. I don't know how Dallas is going to feel about you having doge and and you're and, and telling kids to buy doge coin. And then all of a sudden it's on 420. Wait, 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 what you mean you want my kids to buy this doge coin and something about weed on the same day? Like, ah, what is going on with this doge coin and 420 and weed? What have we done? I'm sure many parents are thinking, as everyone kept saying, I have seen on the channel, one says, it's great for kids. Make sure they celebrate today. Make sure they celebrate. <laughs> uh, man, I can't wait. I can't wait for the documentary about the fall of America. And they look back at this time and see people making money off Doge Day and Dogecoin on, with, on the same day as 420. But what happened to y'all society? But here we are. We, it it, we are living in the in opposite world right now. It's like the Matrix. It's crazy. Uh, so Zay has officially drew the line in the sand. He said, Fox News, CNBC, don't matter. Bone come out on a Tuesday, all right? It's time hey, we do. <laughs> that's how we do. Celebration. All right, there we go. Uh, Ryan Cooper said, what if Doge finally gets a team to hard fork it into a project with a true purpose in a use case, though? Hey, we'll see. At the end of the day, uh, they are, uh, it's working, people. The Doge, the Doge community is alive and well uh actually with the, all of that being said our last story of the day um electronics retailer new egg now accepts dogecoin as payment mm. it's right people uh it's getting over to literally the tech side of things after debuting bitcoin payments back in 2014 online electronics retailer new egg added a dogecoin payment option look at that dogecoin Swagging and surfing into New Egg. You remember that? Swag oh, and I surf. <laughs> Swag and I surf. Let's go. Oh, man. That's... American online electronics retailer New Egg has added Dogecoin as an official payment method amid the ongoing parabolic surge of the mean based cryptocurrency. New Egg announced Tuesday uh, that the company added the option through the crypto payments platform BitPay. A mm. uh, couple things I want to say real quick. 
Uh, well, the, real quick, the firm said that the new feature was introduced in conjunction with Doge Day, a community crypto holiday pushed by Doge proponents to be celebrated on April 20th. According to online reports, Doge can advocates advocates apparently hope to see Doge hit a dollar one day. So even New Egg is getting and New Egg again, uh, a good, great organization, great institution. Uh, but they're getting it on the 420. And I don't think no one's realizing what else 420 <laughs> is, which is hilarious. Mm -hmm. uh, this is pretty cool. Um, but what I want to point out about this is how easy it is to get crypto payments at point of sale systems, people. This is what we've also been telling people for forever. Bitcoin Zay has written about it. Mm -hmm. uh, I've actually seen Bitcoin Zay and been with them to many businesses throughout LA where we have gotten people point of sale systems or on to accepting Bitcoin. And that's how quick it is. It's literally you wake up as a huge organization like Newegg and say, ah, let's accept Dogecoin today. You go to your interface, you click a tab, and boom, all of a sudden you accept Dogecoin. You can say, I want to keep all of it, all my uh, all the money I make today in Dogecoin. I want to keep 50% in it. Uh, I want to transfer straight to USD. You can do all of that within minutes. So if you're a merchant, there is no excuse for you not to accept crypto because literally uh, New Egg was allowed to do it. And again, uh, you see their senior brand manager, Andrew Choi, here uh, talking about it saying that the momentum around is undeniable. Uh, and again, for all this to happen so quickly and for a, an organization of the size of New Egg to pivot and say, hey, we can accept it. Free marketing, free press releases, uh, and free people buying products just so they can burn that good Dogecoin because now people have to actually use it. Yeah, they're riding, they're riding the wave definitely on this one. Um, this is easily one of the biggest things any company can do right now is just ride the wave except cryptocurrency, just put your name out there. Then Doge specifically, because it is Doge Day, like you said, free marketing. And then Newegg, they accepted Bitcoin way back in the day. I remember they were one of the first companies too, because people were buying their uh, <clears throat> their mining rigs from Newegg using Bitcoin back in the day. That was a big thing. So in 2014, so shout out to them. I'm pretty sure, like you said, they're just going to take this and flip it into Bitcoin. <laughs> the people who want to use it, it's all to me more of a fad. Uh, but at the same time, shout out to Newegg, keeping up with the industry. And I will shout out New Egg too. Uh, yeah, keeping up with the industry and not being scared to pivot like that. I mean, it, it's becoming cooler to do, but you have to remember people like literally a year, year and a half ago, if you were to pivot to, hey, we're accepting some type of crypto payment, it was like, all right, uh, all right. <laughs> uh, guess you don't like this banking relationship no more. So uh, yeah. it's cool to see. And I can't wait to actually see that next. I mean, what happens if we wake up tomorrow morning? And JP Morgan Chase is like, all right, all right, we got these Doge accounts. We, people. we got, listen, if that happens tomorrow, I better see this channel at 100,000 uh, subscribers. Like, literally, y'all better share it with everybody. Tomorrow morning, JP Morgan came out and said something about Dogecoin, but oh my God, this day over here predicting it. Oh, well, yeah, bank period. Because if it hits a dollar, I wouldn't be surprised if some institution takes a chance. It's like, Seriously, yeah, bank period. I'm with that. Bank period, that's the better. Banks want to do something with Dogecoin if it hits a dollar. I'm with you on yeah. that. It's funny the people in the comments saying they don't like Doge or they don't understand it. You don't need to in crypto. That's the point we've been trying to tell people for years. Outside of Bitcoin, nothing else is rational. It can literally, we've seen coins go 7,000, throw is it 3,000% in three days? I mean, we've seen coins go, uh, you know, negative 99%. This market's irrational. We've seen Dogecoin in the top five. We've seen BitConnect in the top. BitConnect was in the top five, people. So BitConnect like, was in the top five. I don't think <laughs> It's irrational. Exactly. Shut up, you got a lot of a lot of the first time dumb money going into all of these projects. So it's irrational. It's price discovery. It's speculative. Trust me, this is the fun part of crypto. Is that it is irrational. I mean, think about it. We're building an uh, economy from scratch. This is what happens. So uh, fun to see, man. There it is. Happy Doge Day. Other than that, that is the show for the day. This is officially the ten thousand. Uh, K day, the 10K day, we pushed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, boss up and take yeah, the money, yeah. baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 10K uh -oh. day, as always, people, thank you for the watch. Make sure you smash that like and share. What you got for us, Bitcoin, Zay? Uh, nothing today. Enjoy your 420, Doge day, 10K day, all of that stuff, man. Uh, have a good one. There it is. Other than that, we will see you tomorrow with some more crypto news, Bitcoin news. Make sure you be on the lookout for updates. We still have great stuff coming for you uh, here in the next month or so. And uh, yeah, let's see what this market does tomorrow. Every day is something new. Cheers. Cheers.